First of all, I would like to thank you for this initiative, which is the first of its kind in Portugal. At a drive-in rally near Porto, Andreventura tries to cushion the impact of the pandemic on Portugal's presidential campaign. Chega's leader and candidate says he's reaching out to voters fed up with the political system, insecurity and economic foes. Alongside him, party member José Lorenzo, who earlier told Euro News about a right-wing option. Chega could really become a political success as much as it could fail. It could have a meteoric rise and then plummet. We know this and we don't want it to happen. France's Marine Le Pen has been to Lisbon to support Ventura. His party is seen as anti-immigration and xenophobic, but denies it's racist. This as racism rises like this alleged death threat received by activist Mama Dupa. Chega is two different things, but one doesn't exclude the other. Xenophobia and racism are almost Siamese twins, if we were to use a medical language. Whenever there's xenophobia, there's racism and vice versa. These are concepts supported by the idea of excluding someone. But could Sheikha really rise to power? Much could depend on whether voters reluctant to show their support publicly turn out on election day. We knew there was this latent dissatisfaction and that Chega is starting to reflect that, although the party only represents 1% of the electorate. In the current context, it seems highly unlikely that Chega could become a dominant force in the political system in Portugal. It would be interesting to see if there's this effect of the shy voter, just like what happened with the Trump presidential election back in 2016. Will silent voters cast their ballots in just a few days from now on the 24th? That's the big question. Another challenge this election faces is the ongoing pandemic that could also have an impact on who and how many people turn out. Pedro Sacadura, Euronews.